Good morning and welcome to the Mallard Painting Spray Shop. This morning we got some Sherwin-Williams Naval. These were some golden oak cabinets. Customer wanted a bold new look. So we put on our four coat system. Let me show you what that looks like. Let me grab a small door here. We bought these handy dandy hangers from Paintline. Got these little clips so we don't have to drill holes in the customer's cabinets. In most cases, uh, Paintline has this little spinny guy right here. Uh, on the cabinets that we cannot use our clips. Show you here. See, these guys just clip right inside the hinge hole. We spray our coat on here. Give her a little spin. Spray the other side. I like that there's a nice gap right here so we don't spray our hangers up. See, they stay mostly clean so we don't get a bunch of dust falling down onto the door. And then we take them over here to our homemade drying rack. We didn't go with paint lines because I would have needed to buy a whole mess of those to do the production we do so i ended up putting some lag bolts and using some climbing buckles and then uh what we did is i found this pvc pipe that fits pretty snug here because if you use a metal conduit it's a little smaller than this um these will spin back and forth like this, and we don't want them banging into each other. Now, we did use conduit. We slid that metal conduit, which fits perfectly inside these, down to keep it more rigid so it doesn't bow. And then, yeah, it's nice and sturdy. Um, when, when it's not in use, we can pull that out, and then we can clip these up to the top, get them out of the way. Or um, just leave it hanging. Here's our beautiful drawers. And we, you know, we've done these a whole bunch of different ways. Um, obviously, we have uh, spent some time doing them flat. You can get a, a little bit higher build on them, laying them flat. And on some kitchens, they just need to get done flat one side at a time. But obviously, if you can spray both sides at once, you're twice as fast. Um, you just have to be careful to turn the heat up and watch your millage uh, as to not get runs everywhere. And definitely, if you're training a new guy, you're not going to want to hang them. You know, you always train spraying flat. That way... It's pretty much mistake proof and um, then we've also tried uh, we've also done drilling holes on the bottom edge and screwing little eyelets in <clears throat> works very well however you do got to drill holes in customers cabinets and then when you uh, remove them you got to do something with the holes um, a lot of painters just leave the holes uh, because they're on the top row or the bottom row you can't see them anyway but uh, we've had a few customers uh, not like that, that were drilling holes, especially when they got brand new cabinets and you're drilling holes in them. So not, not ideal. This is the most ideal method in my opinion. Obviously there is a lot of different ways you can do this. But anyway, what do you guys think? Sherwin-Williams Naval? Yay or nay? You guys like it? Let me know what you think. 